Hey songwriters, welcome back to the studio, it's Dean. And today I'm excited to show you a really powerful yet kind of unknown tool in GarageBand called the Flex Time feature. And in today's video, I'm actually gonna take you inside of a client's project and show you how I use the Flex Time feature in a professional production. So before I show you how to use the flex time feature, I just wanna clarify what it is and what it does. The flex time feature allows you to adjust the timing of audio recordings. So that would be any microphones that you're recording through or any guitar or bass that you're plugging in. Basically any recording beyond your MIDI or software instruments because they have their own MIDI editor and their own time adjustment tools like the quantize feature. So with that in mind, we're gonna get into this project. So in the bridge, I have a drum and bass groove going and since these are MIDI instruments they are perfectly timed in line with the metronome so I'm gonna let you hear that turn on the metronome So you can hear how these instruments just hit right on cue with the metronome. So now I'm gonna bring in the first electric guitar and show you how it's just a little bit outside of timing. So they actually did a great job of recording this, but it's my job as a producer to help refine and really sharpen the timing so that everything's really tight and professional. So here's how we use the flex time feature. I'm gonna hit E on my typing keyboard to bring up the edit window, and then I'm gonna hit this little button right here, which is the flex time button. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so I can see each hit. And now you can see it gives me these lines. Every time a guitar hit happens, it gives me a line. And I can actually take these lines and move them around wherever I want to. But the key is we want them to line up with these little notches because these little notches are the metronome clicks. So if you look over here at bar 56, the drums and the bass are gonna hit right on this line, but this guitar part is just a hair early. So I'm gonna click here and drag it to right on time. And the same here, we're a little bit early, so I'm gonna click and drag it to where it's right on time. And then I'll fast forward a bit. All right, so I have flex time adjusted the four bar performance right here, and now let's see how it lines up with our drum and bass groove. Woo. That grooves, right? All right, so as we move into the second half of the bridge, we have two new audio elements that get introduced. One is the acoustic guitar, and one is the vocal. And in both of these cases, again, they're recorded well, but the timing is just a little bit off. So let me play you the before. So what I'm gonna do is go into this acoustic guitar track, I'll turn on the flex time, I'm gonna adjust each hit, and then I'm gonna do the same for this vocal. I'm gonna turn on the flex time, adjust each note, and then I'll come back and show you the comparison. All right, so now let's listen to the before and after. Here's the before. So not bad at all, but now let's listen to the version where I have used the flex time feature on the electric guitar, the acoustic guitar, and on the vocal. So that's all for this video and I hope it's really encouraging to you because it's a super powerful tool that few people know about and it has such a powerful effect in creating a professional production using GarageBand. So leave a comment below if you learned something really awesome or if you have a question and I will catch you in the next video.